Chicksawaga Town Supervisor Brian Nowak will host the first of what will be a series of town halls next week for residents to get some answers on how leaders will pay for major infrastructure improvements. This comes as the board voted to table a bond resolution to pay for some road and sewer repairs last month. The supervisor joins us now to talk more about this. Brian, thank you so much for coming in this Thanks afternoon. Thanks for having me on. So first, let's just talk a little bit about why you wanted to bring a town hall style forum, if you will, to Chicktawaga. Well, this is an idea I had during the campaign. You know, it's uh, in the 21st or 21st century, a lot of communication is online and digital. And there's something that gets lost in that. You can't look people in the eye. You can't you can't get a sense of how they feel about things unless you see them in person. So this is an opportunity to invite the general public out, maybe the folks we don't see at every single meeting, maybe people that only know us through television or through the internet, so they can meet people in person, ask questions they may have, try to solve some of the problems. And that actually checks out and follows through with your the way that you mm -hmm. won this election, which was grassroots, going yeah. door to door. I mean, you literally wore through the soles yeah. of your feet. Clearly, you were trying to get more people involved. Mm -hmm. What do you think the benefit of that is, particularly as it pertains to spending tens of millions of dollars to improve roads and other infrastructure? Clearer communication, better understanding of things, because it's easy to misconstrue something or mislead people on why the town's trying to do what it's trying to do in terms of bonding and infrastructure repairs. When you have a town hall style event, you can have a little bit of a back and forth, an opportunity to refer people to direct resources to say, don't take it from me, go talk to the professionals, go read the literature, look at the history of things, and make your own decisions, you know. And infrastructure will be the big topic next week. Uh, what are some of the projects? I know you have emphasized the mm. roads and specifically the sewers. Right. What are some of the big projects you're looking at? So uh, one of the good things, we, we had a, a meeting on Tuesday. It ran until about 11 o'clock at night. We had four hours there. One of the good things we got done is we reached consensus on sanitary sewer bonding, and that's DC-related work. That, we finally got agreement to take care of that get that moving along. The road paving side, that's that one's real tough right now, but I've been talking with Republican council members since Tuesday uh, about uh, what they want to see on the highway drainage bonding side. I had a couple conversations with Councilmember Thompson. Those have been fruitful so far. We're not quite there yet. You talk about reaching consensus. It's not easy. It can be messy. I'm fine with that. He's working in good faith, and I appreciate that. Not every Republican on the other side is, but at least he is. So we're, we're getting movement on that. Let's talk about some of these projects and how they'll sort of come to be, if we could kind so, of take a step sure. back. There are few, if any, towns, municipalities, mm -hmm. villages, or whomever that could pay for, let's say, a fully resurfacing of, in Cheek to Walk, yeah. Union Road or something like mm -hmm. that, a project that could cost tens of millions of dollars. So typically, the normal method, the most common method, is for villages and towns to bond mm -hmm. some of this work because right. you don't have 26 million dollars in the bank account right exactly right, right. so uh, you take a uh, road resurfacing in the last 10 years we've taken out seven or eight bonds to cover road paving year after year just last year we did a road paving bond and that you that had unanimous support from the town board now it's 2024 all of a sudden things have changed for some reason uh, but as, as far as the highway drainage bonding that we talked about we've got a, a big project we need to do in one of our neighborhoods that uh, is really old sewers that we got to take care of part of that bond was going to cover a bridge repair part of that bond was going to cover half a million dollars for uh, for day-to-day -day materials for the highway department stone pipe what have you and then there's a couple other items involved in that some of these projects because they're things like sewers or mm -hmm. roads infrastructure structure that people depend on yeah. that they pay taxes for mm -hmm. by delaying this work are you further hurting these projects particularly road projects as we're getting into the summer because it's getting kind of late for towns to start adopting and getting work to do uh, on the road paving quite honestly we've got a little bit more time okay. we're at the we're at midnight on the sewers so if we can't get something done by tuesday on the highway drainage we're in a lot of trouble on that part could it cost you more by waiting could it cost uh, you the, more money for the roads certainly we don't do them by neighborhoods and this as we were planning in these four phases it costs money to mobilize the people get the equipment out and those kind of things so sure it will you know let's talk more about this town hall when and where is it mm. happening what do you hope residents specifically take from it so as far as when and where we're tuesday 7 p.m. Maryvale High School Auditorium. And as far as what residents want to take from it, they're the ones that are bringing questions, comments, and concerns. A lot of it is neighborhood concerns. Rats in the neighborhood. My street light is out. You know, we've had, whether it's issues with sanitation or other departments, like these are the, the their experiences with folks. Can you help fix those things? So I anticipate that being a fair amount of the questions. I'm sure bonding, I'm sure some politically charged things may come up, and 
we'll just handle everything as it comes. I mean, I've done community meetings a lot over the last six years. They're universally respectful, even if things get spirited and heated. So that's what I'm expecting. Okay. You know? And if anyone had missed any point of this interview, missed the time and date uh, location for those uh, meetings, you can certainly watch this on our website, wivb.com. Chief Tawaka Town Supervisor Brian Nowak. Thanks for All being right. here, Brian. Hey, Thank thanks you. so much. Appreciate it.